Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Zen. Today I'm reading for the collective. Hey, collective. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell <clears throat> to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. <clears throat> All that information is in the description box below. All right, let's get into it, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hold on, there's letters in here. There's letters in here. Hold on. Okay, so let's start. So we have uh, <laughs> the letters con, C-O-N, okay? So someone is conning, someone is lying. Then we have the words move, believe, fly, perfect, and thank, okay? So someone believed that something is going to work perfectly in their in their favor here. They are moving on. They're thinking like a fly. Hold on. Give me a second. All right, so look at the etymology of the word con. <clears throat> con is ne uh, negation in the negative, the arguments um, or voter voters against a proposal, okay? Um, that's the etymology. Um, also means to swindle as well. So yeah, somebody's lying, swindling, taking something from someone here, right? And they think this is the perfect way to do this, okay? So it's basically like it's going to work just, 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 just trust me on this. Okay, we're going to move. Okay, so someone could be trying to move in silence here with this fly. Okay. Um, think of it like a drone. You know how drones, they fly and you can't see them or you might, you might not be able to detect them. This person wants to move in a very undetected way because they get ready to do something really fucking stupid or crazy. Okay, so that's where the con is coming in. So let's see what they're getting ready to do here. What are they trying to do? What are they getting ready to do? What are they getting ready to do? Yep. We have gift and we have coffin. So someone wants someone's, uh, it could be gift to end. Ah, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Gifts. So this is a spiritual message here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. This is a spiritual message here. So you could be a psychic, okay? Or you could be someone that can see beyond the, the realm here, okay? Should I guess my ass included in this message too today? All right, let's get into it. So there's a psychic here. Yeah, gift, gift. Somebody wants to put an end to your gift, okay? They see you as a threat. Yep. Now, we have house here. We also have marriage and sudden wealth. Got it. Okay, somebody wants to come in and marry you, um, but they only want to marry you for money. Okay, they don't want you to be aware, or they want they don't want you to know. That's the reason why they want to get married to you. It's just solely for a financial gain here, and they believe that this con or this move is going to work in their favor but it's not okay because that's why i'm here i'm here to tell you what these niggas do before they do it all right yeah 
So someone is definitely trying to move in, trying to love bomb, trying to, hey, um, you know, can we work it out? Look, look at the marriage. You see, you see this person's hand, how tight it is around the woman and her face is like really like, mm, like smug. Like, you know, the photographer says, smile for the camera and they like that kind of way. So this person have some inkling or they may have some, um, they may have some thoughts about it, but they may not be sure exactly what this person's true intentions are. It's just to marry you for money. It's just to marry you for a personal gain. That's all there is. That's all there is. It's just, just for personal gain here. Now, this person is heavily involved in drugs here, and you will definitely supply their um, their habits, okay? Let's see what else. Manifestation. Yeah, this person is really trying hard uh, to manifest. So this, oh, why we got to be talking about these fucking past people, man? All right, whatever. This is somebody from the past here because, yeah, they're trying to manifest you into a marriage. So you may have been with somebody, um, could be an a ex um, that you just broke up with untrustworthy this person is untrustworthy and they're very cold-hearted as well too and i honestly feel like they just want to steal your joy but they look at you as just a, a, a meal ticket here be very careful because if this person is aware of like your friends your family whatever the case may be um they may use them to um bring in the perfect like plan like okay yeah i just need you to say this so you know it's like basically that you my uwa right like you gonna do the uwa for me and you gonna all right, I did it. Now, now you know, you're going to push through, right? So that's what this person's doing because they realize they can't do it on their own. But justice is in reverse. So this is not going to happen here, okay? This person is going to burn themselves out because right now I feel like they may not have any money. And they're very cold-hearted. They don't have the best interest for you. They don't care. It's just, you know. So you may have been talking about marriage and we got good news in reverse. Yeah, this person is broke here. Um, this person could be very, uh, violent as well too. So you may have went through some form of domestic violence. Um, this person belongs to the streets here. They're doing illegal activity here. Okay. Wow. This person is bisexual as well. Wow. Yeah. Cold hearted. Okay. The shocking message is. So they're cold hearted, but I feel like the shocking message is that you may have exhibited your, you know, your gifts with this person and this person didn't take it serious or they didn't think that you were real or you were legit. So now they're getting a shocking message that um, you're able to see before they're able to do anything here. And that's going to drive this person fucking head. What's the outcome of the situation here? Yeah, they just want to suppress you. Like, they don't want you to have anything. They don't want you to have any gifts. They don't want you to, to, to be successful. They don't want you to prosper. They just want to just bully you, fight you, beat you down, wear you down, and eventually probably kill you. I'm just going to be honest with you here because this person, they, they, don't have any, um, they don't have anything going for them that's good right now. So, they're, they're scrambling, okay? They're trying to scramble. Let's see. What's, what else is going on with this person? Yeah, they're just trying to tie you into a contract. Well, now you my wife, or now you my husband, that kind of way. So, um, yeah, ego death. This person's going to have a huge, huge ego death. A huge, lots of changes are coming in. And we're not talking about positive, though. We ain't talking about positive. What's going on? Accountability. This person does not know how to be accountable, is not held accountable for their actions here. Okay, you are safe. So if you're wondering if, you know, somebody's like watching or lurking you, yeah, they're watching and lurking, but you are completely safe. You have nothing to worry about, okay? I just want to put that out there. Yeah, they don't take accountability for their actions here. Yeah, money, they're broke. They are completely broke here. So they may have said that they had money. They were doing really well for themselves. That was an absolute lie. They just saw you as a come up here, your beacon of light. Yeah. They saw you as a come up here and they just wanted to um just to capitalize off of you, but that's backfired in their face. Yeah, it was all about abundance. Introspection. Well, if I um if I do this, this gonna happen. You know? So we have gratitude, connected, and release. They have neither, or all three. They don't they don't carry this. They they don't know how to use that. They don't know how to express that. Okay. 
um yeah we have create and future self this person is not tapped in at all they may say that they is or they are but they're not tapped in at fucking all here they they don't even know the beginning of tapping or what tapping means okay so person could be very very abusive this this oh lord physic physically abusive and fiscally f-i-s-c-a-l-l-y fiscally abusive now i know fiscal means the end of the year but i know that's symbolic so i'm gonna look that up pertaining to public revenue of or belonging to the state treasury so yeah they may have taken something from you originally money bag or they may just see you as a money bag a purse you know oh this is my come up i'm about to get all of it i can from this person here but it's not gonna work it's just gonna lead this person in the three of swords here okay um this person is going wow um we have Ten of Cups, the Strength, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. They're all in reverse here. So broken home, loss of family, a lack of stability here. Somebody may become homeless. They may lose their car. Um, Self-doubt, weakness. They're very insecure with themselves. They don't like, so they may want They may want to be in a relationship with you, but they don't like to see you do well, okay? So they just want to have like a full control over you. But like I told you, that's not going to happen here. We have the Nine of Swords, and then we have the Ace of Wands here. Um, where somebody is will soon to uh, regret what they have done, extremely regret what they have done because their money is now starting to uh, to stall down as well. Ace of Wands. So yeah, very stagnant, a lot of missed opportunities here, all because somebody wanted to be in the higher front. They wanted to control. They wanted somebody to conform to their bullshit. And that's just not going to happen. There's other things that's going to happen as well, too. But spirits say do not mention it. So I'm not. And just know that it's going to come in very quickly here as well, too. So if this person thinks that they can one-up you or they can try to, like, get, you know, get a leg up over you, it's just not going to happen. Because the first thing that's happening right now is the money. They have no money. Okay? Now, they could be very determined to go out there and get money. But the more determined they are, the more determined that the money is just going to slip through their hands. Okay? The universe has a very funny way of just clearing out shit. Okay? So, we have hunger here. So, somebody is very hungry for money. They need money. They eat, sleep, and breathe money. Okay? And the decision that they're getting ready to make is going to cost them their life. We'll just put it like that with the ghost card here. Uh, I'm not going to say what, but because this person is a very money-hungry person, they're willing to do anything possible um, to get to this money. And this is going to be this person's demise here, okay? Like I told you, caution. What'd that say? This person needs to have a lot of caution here um, in regards to what they're about to do. But, you know, they don't listen. They want to do their own thing. You got to let people do their own thing, okay? You gotta let people learn from their from the from their mistakes, but this person's mistake is not going to be it's not going to end well because we have protection here. This person has no protection whatsoever, none. But they are so hungry for money, like I told you, this is going to end in a death, a physical death. They are so um, they're so hungry for money, they want to do anything. Person pop pills, take drugs, they smoke, they drink, they may just smoke a lot. Yeah. I also want to say, um, I also want to say, so I'm hearing what goes around comes around. We have subconscious is in reverse. So yeah, this person is not tapped in at all. Um, community, this is, uh, and that's what I wanted to say. A lot of these instances. A lot of these instances, I hope I'm saying that word right, are going to be in front of everyone to see because this is their MO. Like, so if you were on the, the, the displeasing end of the stick with whoever this person is, or if they were to ah, resonates here, um, the person that was doing all of this to cause the displeasing, they're, oh, man, yo. Uh, trickery is involved here, like I said. This person really think they're getting away with this. Like, they're not. The future, there's no future here. There is no future. And this is 
you want to see this play out in public because that's what they do. They do things in the public. You know, they don't give a fuck. Uh, they got that kind of attitude. The body is in reverse. The body is not well. The body will be changing as well. Um, they just have a I don't give a fuck type of attitude. Okay. And, you know, the universe is like, okay, no problem. I'm going to give you what you want. So, yeah, this person is going to meet their match. Yep, and the person they're going to match, they're going to meet is protected. Yeah, so they're going to meet their match. And the one that they 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 think they can do or whatever they can do to, they are protected. That's the difference between someone that's protected and not protected. So the one that's not protected, I would advise you to sit your ass down because you ain't got no kind of protection here. But if you're feeling froggy, go ahead and meet, boo. Because I'm telling you, the minute that you feel froggy, the universe gonna come and they gonna knock your ass the fuck down and you ain't gonna know what the fuck hit you because your ass won't be here on this plane no more, boo. You gonna be on the other side underneath the lower vibrations, all right? Or the lower plane. Mm, stuck in limbo because you don't know what the fuck to do, okay? Souls can get stuck in limbo. Chaos, this person, yeah, this person's souls want to get stuck in limbo. I don't know who y'all be dealing with. God damn. It's just, oof. This person really, really trying to come back in, trying to make you believe that they're not who they say they are. This person is abusive. They, they're domestic, domestic violence. Yeah. They, it's already happened. It's in reverse. It hasn't happened yet, but it soon will. There's no resurrection from this. I'm telling you, all right. See you. Vision. Vision. We have the moon in the 11th house in Cancer. The 11th house represents... I can't make this shit up even if I fucking wanted to. Groups, friends, acquaintances, things of that nature. Okay? It's in Cancer. So somebody's very emotional. Moon in Cancer in the 11th house. Somebody is super emotional. They may talk about you behind your back, spread vicious lies. And that's okay. They gotta do what they gotta do. We have the 9th house in Taurus. In the south node, yeah. So someone spreads a lot of information here. Um, ninth house is a uh, travel, wisdom, philosophy, higher education, you know, things like that. So they just spread a lot of gossip, okay. Uh, next one is 11th, 11th house in Pisces and moon. I just did 11 moon, 11th house. And the moon is in 11th house in the Cancer. Now we have it in Pisces, so. One more. We have Leo in um, Venus in the seventh house. So, yeah, this is definitely about a relationship or a connection here. Relationship, marriage, contracts, definitely. All right. So, let's see who we're dealing with. So, we have Pisces. We have Pisces again. Gemini. Somebody could just be real, like, just really emotional. You know what I mean? Capricorn. Now, the thing is, there's nothing wrong with somebody being emotional, Leo. But, like, when it's just starting to, like, take over, like, it's starting to take over your life, then, you know, then that's when you're going to really have to start to find some form of uh, emotional mastery. And we have Scorpio as well, too. All right? So, if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, peace.